totally ignore the orb is on my face. Hi guys, I'm back. Are you awake? Because I'm not. Hi guys. I'm back. And they did this makeup look. So, today I'm gonna try and do a autumn kind of fall look. I feel like mustards and stuff is really good autumn colours, as well as like burgundies and oranges. But I think I'm gonna go for yellow. If you don't think that's autumn me enough, I will make another one, but this is what I wanna do. Oh, I keep closing that for getting it's really hard to open. Okay, leave that open. I'm going to take um, this guy the my more V35C palette as a transition shade. I should maybe zoom in a little bit so you oh, oh geez, not good. So I'm just gonna blend that into my crease. I'm sorry if I look really orange or really tired because I'm both. Okay, I'm gonna take how dark do I want this? I've not used this colour yet, so I'm gonna try and use this one here. Which I've lost a little oh there it is. Which is the colour Hug. Love this off palette and just do something with that. I was going to put on eye primer. Well, we shall run with it. Oh, in the last video, I spoke about how my cat went missing. Well, we found her, and she was right under my feet. Like, literally in the floorboards of this room. The day I was filming, she was under the floorboards. And she didn't make any noise whatsoever. I came home one day and he heard meowing, thought it was in the roof, followed the noise to under my floor. <laughs> they had to like lift up the floorboards and get her out and she was just there like, hi guys, I'm here, surprise. So we found her after five days. She's a bit skinny. But she's, I think, pretty sure she's put it all back on now. But she's such a weirdo. She's like, kind of found her voice. Like, she's a silent cat. And she doesn't really, like, meow whatsoever. She'll meow if Matt's outside. But she never really meows any other time. But yesterday I looked outside and she was in the window meowing. It's like, you found your voice. I'm so happy. That little lady, you found her voice. Okay, I really wish I had a different yellow. I'm gonna look. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep keep blending. I'm not ready for the yellow yet, I don't think. Not yet. So I'm sorry if my hair looks like a hot mess. I tried to curl it, but I'm really bad at it. I mean, it looks okay in person, but on the camera it looks very terrible, but that's why I'm not a hairstylist. Just my old trusty electric palette brush. And I'm gonna take the bright yellow from this palette and just use that and see what happens. Might be awful. That looks okay, but I need to make it brown darker. 
I'm gonna go in with this kind of purpley one. Another fun story, I poured soup all over my hat today. It's fine. Surprisingly. And just buff some color into the bottom of my under eyes. I'm gonna use that transition shade first. I use the yellow for and go a little bit more yellow. I've got like a mustardy kind of color. I'm just gonna to transition into the red. This one's not so bold. Threw my brush on the floor. Good job. Make sure all your edges are blended. If you need to add some of that transition color, do. This isn't really an everyday look. I went a bit crazy. Not really everyday, but. I mean, you could make it every day if you didn't smoke it out as much as I did, but... Bit better purple? Actually, I'm gonna go purple because I think that'll look good. I'm just gonna pop that on my water line. I'm gonna take that really small brush and just blend some of that dark purple to kind of blend it a little bit. And some liquid liner. When you don't have something to like lean on. Oh fuck man. Not my head. Sorry guys. is running out. I got some stuff off of IKEA today to like redecorate my spare room that we rent out. And I'm really excited to build furniture. Is that weird? I just really enjoy building IKEA furniture. It's like a puzzle. A puzzle I always get wrong, and then Matt has to repair, but it's a puzzle, and I enjoy it. Okay, so I'm just going to add some mascara, and I'm just using the Mega Volume Miss Baby Roll. I've just got these lashes there. I'm just gonna put some glue on. I'm using the Revlon Precision, the black stuff, which I don't know why I get myself that dressed on using black when I got mascara all over myself. <laughs> I dropped it right into my eyeshadow palette. Oopsie. Right. 
cross my legs again. <laughs> okay, so just gonna chill, throw it on the floor apparently. God damn it! What is wrong with me? I got these like tiny little tweezers and I think they're maybe the problem. <laughs> Don't have much grip. So I'm just gonna wait for this to dry a little bit. Three hours later. And I just stick the middle off first. <sighs> One eternity later. So I'm gonna take. I got this contour brush, the last video I made of this palette, and I don't know, I don't, I feel like it might be better with like a, a cream contour because I put it on and it doesn't really go anywhere. This. And it's a Too Faced Blush. I got this from my parents as well. Thanks, mother and father. But they got it when they were in America. It was like asked for this, the uh, modern Renaissance palette, and uh, what's that called? A Becca highlighter, which is somewhere on the table. I just dropped it. <laughs> Oh, it's still fine, thank god. Imagine if I had broken on camera. But yeah, it asked for all three. I'm not expecting for all three. Like, it was just a suggestion. <laughs> and she got me all three, plus loads of other palettes. And I just, I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I'm gonna go for more of the kind of peachy side of it. And just blush. Uh, I like using this, like, weird, pointy, really loose uh, brush for highlighting. I think it's quite nice. I'm just gonna, this is it. And it's stunning. It's the shade Opal. It's quite gold, which I was kind of shitting myself about because I'm really pale and gold doesn't look good on pale people, but it actually comes out so like light. Like you don't notice too much that it's gold. Take this uh, Soph highlighting palette, I'm gonna take the gold and just put that on my inner corner a little bit. The Nutmeg Liner in by Gennardo. But I'm gonna go in with this color, which I have no idea. Okay, it's by Barbara Day. Who's Barbara? I don't know where I got this lipstick, or why I bought it, but it's a pretty decent color. It's like a kind of shimmery purple, kind of. I'm gonna go with it. Sorry, Barbara, if you take offense to this. I think I've worn this lipstick once, and I didn't leave the house. I don't even, I honestly have no idea where I bought this. There's nobody, like, Barbara Day doesn't sell makeup in Shetland. So I must have got it when I was away at some point and bought like 50 items of makeup. That'll do. I think I'm quite happy with that. So I guess this is goodbye. This is the makeup look I came up with and I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you try it, let me know, because I would love to see your recreations of this if you decide to do it. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I'll maybe make another video at some point, because sometime soon, hopefully. I might film another one on Sunday, if 
if I'm not doing anything. I don't think I'm doing anything on Sunday. So I might film one for this time next week. Try and do one every week, but work. 